welcome to another session of uh, data analysis and visualization. We're going to actually today focus on data frame. What is a data frame and how to create a data frame? So as you can see from this example, data frame is a tabular collection of data in which columns can have different modes or different types. So for instance, uh, we will have here a name, which is, as you can see, is bold, it's something like column name, or here we have a row name, let's say. Uh, one, the first column actually including all strings, representing name for this data set. The second column is score, which is numeric, double. Uh, the third, it's again numeric, but including missing data. The fourth qualified column is yes and no, which is a categorical data type. Yes, it's just yes, no, uh, or if you can say zero, one, something like this. I mean, actually, we could consider this column in a categorical format because it has just one to one to, okay? With incl including missing data represented by NA or not available. Okay, this is 10 row or 10 entries for columns and created a data frame. Okay, what's the difference between this data frame and metrics? For matrix, we have the same data type. All of them could be numeric, okay? Or could be a string of matrix or numeric. So, but here, as you can see, we have different columns with different data types, okay? When you read a CSV file in all programming, your data actually could be considered as a data frame. Even actually, you could use a function with this uh, name as dot data frame and then read dot csv so it automatically would be a data frame okay so we're going to see how can we create this data frame so again data dot frame and we have these four columns We have these four columns, name, which is a vector, a score, again a vector of these values, attempts, qualify, and close brackets, okay? So, and by view exam data, you can, you can uh, view this data set, uh, data frame in your uh, R environment. So the question is, can I, can I remove this name? Can I just use the C, combine and again without this name and equal? Yes, we can actually do, but it would be without any names in data frame, okay? So usually, usually we, these data frames, as I said, it can be, uh, uh, can be actually uh, imported from uh, hard disk, for instance, like read CSV or uh, similar functions, or uh, using a function like data.frame or as dot data frame, you can actually convert any structure uh, to a data frame. So how to access the elements of a data frame? We're gonna to answer to these questions. And what is the total number of missing in uh, this example? Okay, so if you want to, uh, to access the first element, as you can see, I wrote these lines of code uh, similar to the main one. Uh, you don't need to, by the way, you don't need to write all of them in a one line of code. You can press enter after uh, 
any comma, as you can see, the end of these lines with comma and then finishing here. So define this data frame and as, you, as soon as you enter the name of the data frame and dollar, you can access to all of the names with tab, pressing tab automatically. Uh, this window actually providing all the names that you can access to uh, any columns of this data frame, okay? So any question for this part? So <clears throat> now we're gonna write one line of code. We're gonna see what's the total number of missing here, okay? I would like you to think about writing one line of code to create the following result. We're gonna create this line of code in the output. How can you write a code that creates this line four is the number of the total number of missing. Okay, and this is just a, a string in the output. So in a pair or three, uh, think about and discuss for answering uh, this question. You can use is.na, is.na, and accessing to, well, here actually you know attempts including na, but what do you think? So we're gonna write one line of code to create this out. Anyone? What's the answer? So we're gonna use is dot and a, yes? So in this case, we know, we're gonna have, I mean, some prior knowledge that we know that the uh, column attempts is the only column with, in, with an a. <clears throat> so let's assume that this is the prior knowledge for this, despite the fact that we could check all individual columns to make sure that an A is in which one of these columns would be. But as you can see here, I use is.na and then the, the, the data frame name dollar attempts, which can in which I can access to this column by is.na. I could check if there is any NA in this column, okay? And by sum, if you use sum, it can provide you all the, the, the total number of uh, missing. So technically, when you, when you run without sum, exclude some is dot na and the uh, name of data frame and dollar attempt it provide you false true false true false true false true false false it means provide you 
this is an A, a vector of logical, uh, logical result showing whether each element is an A or not. And then by sum, it actually provides you the result. I use haste to concatenate the first part of this expression, this uh, string, with this one, and I would expect one space between the first element of case and the second element of okay. So in that case, it provides me, it provides me these lines of uh, Okay, so in terms of comparing all of this data, uh, data or objects, as you can see from here, this is really important. Vector, factor, and list or one dimension, matrix and data frame or two dimensions, and array more than two dimensions. So vector, factor, list, matrix, data frame, and array more than two dimensions, okay? You need to know all these objects in your uh, mind when you're writing uh, and programming with R, because most of the functions that you're using in R, creating objects originated from one of these five uh, data type so if it's vector if it's factor you have you need to know how to access to the elements or if if the result usually when you for instance running a classification technique on your data set the result of the uh, classification would be a big list for instance so you have to then go for accessing to these elements so it's it's very important if anyone has any problem with data uh, or objects, um, I'm, I'm sure would be problematic for the rest of uh, programming. So, and vice versa, if you just memorize all of these data objects generally, you could uh, you could write uh, good programmer, good programming actually uh, style and uh, etc. So, this is another uh, comparison in terms of. Uh, having elements only one type, which we call homogeneous or heterogeneous data frame and list have different type of uh, elements. And as you can see here, data frames, data frames actually have two dimensions, but list have one dimension, despite the fact that one list can include vector, matrix, and other lists as well, but it's considered as one dimension. So anyway, vector, matrix, array has uh, same uh, data type or only one type, uh, it's called homogeneous. Homogeneous versus heterogeneous. Here, in terms of the dimension, in terms of the accessing to the elements. So these are uh, the summary of uh, our object and I believe you could uh, by practicing all of these data object examples you could be uh, you could actually improve your S skills for our programming for uh, data science and uh, uh, data analysis <laughs>